Hi again. Today I want to show you how to make a very simple facial scrub. I was wearing a mask so much that my pores were getting clogged. Uh, I couldn't get my face clean enough, so I needed to change what I was using, find a better scrub that would exfoliate so until I no longer need to do the masks and uh, can go back to alternating with my old scrub that I make. Now, the reason that this scrub is a little bit better than the one I was using is it's actually got less of the liquidy coconut oil, almond oil, than the other one. So the percentage is a little different and it does a better job of exfoliating. It also tastes delicious. I use it on my lips when I'm there too. It's 100% uh, natural. So I'm going to walk you through this and you're going to find it is very easy to make your own. The first thing you're going to need is one cup of brown sugar. So I have a cup here and I just put that right into the bowl. In addition to that, I need one cup of granulated sugar. I don't want to use the raw sugar, that would be too rough. The, the granulated sugar mixed with the brown sugar is going to have a good texture. So I have my sugar here and I've got a half cup and another half cup. So I've got all of that. The next ingredient is the cocoa. So I'm going to need three tablespoons of cocoa. One, two, and three. So, so far, all I have in here is brown sugar, granulated sugar, and cocoa. And you can see this bowl is about half full. Here's where the liquids will come in, the oils. I'm going to use a quarter cup of almond oil, sweet almond oil. That definitely will help my skin. It hydrates and nourishes the skin. So I have a half a cup that I'm pouring in. This is a dry cup measure, but Today I'm just converting it over for liquid. And then a quarter cup of coconut oil. Now, the coconut oil was pretty solid. Uh, when it's warmer weather out, it might be softer and you might not have an issue with it, but it was pretty solid. So I put it in a cup, I put it in the microwave for about a half a minute, and it liquefied it so it will blend better. So I'm going to add that. So in with two cups of the sugars, one of brown and one of granulated, I only have a half a cup of oil, much less oil than what I typically would have. Now, the peppermint, of course, we use a good quality. It's a face scrub. You don't want to have a lot of peppermint because if it gets by your eyes, you, your eyes will be watering. It really will irritate them. You want to be careful, but this is going to make a big batch. This is making two cups worth of scrub. You're not going to be using all of it at once. So I add four drops of my peppermint oil. One, two, three, four. Now, what I'm going to do is I am just going to mix this up. I'm going to adjust my camera, hopefully, so you can see. So I'm just going to blend all this together. And it is going to look chocolatey. It is going to smell peppermint and chocolate. So you blend it thoroughly. Now, once you've got it blended, you're done. What you're going to do next is just store it in jars 
and what I do with my own batch is I will put some right into one of the little four ounce mason jars and the rest of it I have in a glass jar that would hold about two cups worth of things that's I store in the refrigerator and that's just because it does have food products in it so if it's stored in the refrigerator you can keep it there for up to three months well as I use up the small jar I just bring it back to the refrigerator refill it so that it's not just sitting there but I only take out a quarter cup worth or half a cup worth at a time so I have blended this up pretty well let me show you here as I said it's got a chocolatey look to it. You can smell the peppermint mixed with the chocolate, but it's not overwhelming. And I can vouch that it doesn't irritate my eyes. And so I use it when I wash my face, and I also use it on my lips to exfoliate the lips. So it's completely edible. That's I'm not worried about that. The stuff you buy in the store, you don't know what's in it necessarily. So I'm going to be filling these jar, some jars with this because this batch I'm going to be giving out as some gifts. Okay, so anyway, I hope that gave you an idea. If you need more information, if you want to learn more about oils in general, check out my other videos or reach out to me. I would be glad to share what I know with you. Anyway, have fun, and I hope you have a very good day. Bye-bye.